Most of us feel uneasy in social situations at some point, especially when we are in the spotlight or meeting new people. We are sure you remember feeling especially hot around the collar trying to talk to that outrageously petty class fellow. This type of anxiety usually passes with time and it rarely stops you from having fun and doing important things. However, anxiety about social settings can be devastating for some people, affecting their career, relationships and overall quality of life. This is commonly referred to as social anxiety. The good news is that you can learn new habits to help you cope and conquer your social anxiety. How? Let us tell you in just a few simple steps. 1. Consult a therapist. Despite what some may believe, social anxiety is more than just shyness around new people. It's not always possible to work through the symptoms of social anxiety on your own because it's a mental health problem. You may be able to handle a lot of your worry and distress on your own, but seeking professional help is always a smart place to start. A trained mental health professional can educate you on the differences between social anxiety and shyness, help you to identify social anxiety triggers, teach you effective coping strategies, social skills and relaxation techniques, and assist you in challenging and reframing negative thoughts. Gradual exposure is one possible treatment for social anxiety. It provides a safe environment in which to practice handling anxiety-provoking circumstances. Your therapist may suggest group therapy and support groups, which allow you to practice social skills while simultaneously interacting with others who are dealing with social anxiety. A therapist can also recommend you a psychiatrist who can provide antisocial anxiety medication. Medication can help to remove severe symptoms, making it simpler to begin therapy to address them. 2. Find out specific scenarios that cause anxiety. Everyone's symptoms of social anxiety are different. You may feel uneasy in any circumstance when you are concerned that people will judge you, such as ordering meals in a restaurant or leaving a class lecture to use the restroom. On the other side, merely being amongst others could make you feel okay if they don't require you to express your opinions or speak out. Identifying why and when you are most worried will help you take the initial steps towards overcoming those feelings. Start by making a list of the situations that make you the most uncomfortable, the ones that you feel helpless to handle. For example, interviewing for a new job, meeting with a professor to ask for help, or introducing yourself to someone you like. 3. Create a hierarchy of exposure. Identify and rate the level of anxiety you experience in each social situation. For example, a score of zero indicates no anxiety while a score of 10 indicates a full-fledged panic episode. Make a note of how you think you would react in each event, no matter how minor or major, from asking a stranger on the tube for the time to strolling into a room at a gathering. It's crucial to write down your responses so that when the time comes to experience it, you'll know how to expect to feel. 4. Challenge negative thoughts. You probably spend a lot of time pondering the negative consequences of different social settings. You might be concerned about saying anything harsh or inappropriate by accident or mispronouncing someone's name. Or you may worry about tripping or spilling something on yourself, laughing, sneezing or coughing at the worst time or becoming ill in front of others. These things can happen from time to time and they can surely cause some discomfort in the near term. Imagining yourself in a similar unpleasant scenario can be daunting, but try to keep things in perspective. Even if you commit a minor social gaffe, this does not mean that others will judge you. In fact, they may recall a time when they were in a similar situation and instead give empathy and compassion. You might even find a new buddy by bonding over prior uncomfortable encounters. When you start to feel overwhelmed by such thoughts, Use realistic thinking to challenge them and replace them with more useful ones. You may do this by asking yourself some simple questions about the situation that's bothering you and giving yourself honest, balanced replies. Understanding the spotlight effect or the tendency to believe others notice your faults more than they do might help you feel less anxious in social situations. You may assume that everyone is staring at you after an embarrassing gaffe 
but most people probably didn't notice. Those who did, they'll almost certainly forget what happened. Five, begin with baby steps. It's quite acceptable to begin with little modifications when it comes to managing social anxiety. You are not obliged to lead a meeting or engage in conversation with everyone you meet. Skip the self-checkout line at the store and instead challenge yourself to strike up a conversation with the clerk. Raise your hand to ask a question in class. Say something nice about a classmate or co-worker's attire. Host a small event for close friends and family. Try thinking, I'm so excited to see what people are like outside of work, instead of, I'm so nervous about tonight. These may not look like giant steps, but they are going to help you get there in the end. Six, practice with people you can trust. All those tough situations you're concerned about, practicing how to deal with them in advance will make you feel more prepared to deal with them if they arise during a conversation. Role play several daily discussions with a trustworthy friend or family member. Suppose you're in a drugstore seeking for something and must explain what you're looking for to the clerk. Or you mispronounced your friend's date's name and they correct you. Or your boss asked you a question and you responded incorrectly. Ask your conversation partner to express different positive, negative and neutral reactions to get a better understanding of best and worst case scenarios. After that, you can practice your own responses to each situation. Seven, relaxation techniques. Social anxiety, like general anxiety, can cause a slew of unpleasant physical symptoms, including perspiration, racing heart, difficulty breathing, lightheadedness, and an upset stomach. Relaxation exercises can assist to reduce these physical reactions, making anxiety, fear, and other emotional sensations easier to handle. Here are a few simple exercises. Breathing 478. Take a four second slow inhale through your nose. Take a deep breath, hold it for seven seconds. Slowly exhale for a count of eight seconds. Progressive muscle relaxation. Starting with your toes, slowly tension each set of muscles in your body. Maintain the tension for a total of five seconds. Exhale slowly as you let go of the stress. For a count of 10 seconds, focus on the new looseness of your muscles while breathing deeply. Repeat the process. Eight, perform random acts of kindness. Although the connection between kindness and social anxiety may not be obvious at first, it makes sense when you think about it. Fear of rejection or disapproval is a common source of social anxiety. However, if you've recently done something thoughtful and nice, such as delivering a sick co-worker their favourite soup or offering to pick up the neighbour's grocery order, the person you help is significantly more likely to have positive thoughts towards you than negative ones. Earning this acceptance on a regular basis will help reduce your social anxiety, so you may find that talking with others becomes easier with time. 9. Don't drink too much. A few drinks appear to be a wonderful method to relieve social anxiety and feel more at ease in social situations. A tiny amount of alcohol can certainly make you feel more relaxed, but it can also exuberate anxiety and make you feel worse. If you use alcohol to control your social anxiety symptoms on a daily basis, you may soon find it impossible to socialise without it. You may also find that you need to drink more to achieve the same results. Adopt a mindful drinking strategy, which involves increasing awareness of when you drink, how much you drink, and how you feel afterwards. 10. Be on the lookout for more subtle forms of avoidance. So you know that completely avoiding social situations isn't going to help your social anxiety. Great, but you'll need to avoid strategies that make your participation seem insignificant. For example, when you're at a party, you remain busy in the kitchen, washing dishes and preparing food. When you're in a conversation with someone, you encourage them to talk about themselves. In a group, you stay on the outskirts, staring at your phone, hoping no one will approach you. When you show up without actually engaging, you may feel safer amid the crowd, but this does you no favors when it comes to overcoming social anxiety. 
People may not reject you overnight, but they will never generally come to know you until you make a genuine attempt to communicate with them. Allowing yourself to let go of these unhelpful coping mechanisms may be difficult at first, but most people find the outcome to be well worth the effort. 11. Don't be hard on yourself. Nobody is flawless and everybody has experienced embarrassment at some point in their lives. It's not easy to overcome social anxiety. There will be instances when you think negatively and revert to old patterns. If you're exhausted or run down, you can feel more dejected than usual, but it doesn't mean that you've failed. Simply take a moment to breathe deeply, focus on the present moment, and practice the strategies you've been learning. Finally, it might be tough to form connections with possible friends or love partners if you are self-conscious around others and fear their criticism. It's entirely acceptable to remain single or have a small circle of pals. When social anxiety prevents you from starting new relationships though, a few small tweaks can make a tremendous difference. True, some of the people you meet may dislike you, but that's fine, it happens all the time. The more you interact, the more likely you are to meet individuals who truly understand you and who will embrace you with open arms. That's it for today's video. We hope you found it useful. If you did, we would like to ask you to subscribe to our channel and press that bell icon to receive updates for more videos. See you in the next video. Ciao.